Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode we got our press pass, and this episode we're going to use it to get into Haworth Labs, where they make joy. This feels like a very end game or near end game sort of thing, because, I mean, this is the factory where they make joy. It's at the center of a lot of the things that are happening here. I mean, joy for one, obviously, but also everything that's gone wrong with the joy, bad batches running out polluting and poisoning the environment and causing the plague. This is a very important place. I'm expecting this to probably be a long thing. Here to see the doctor. He does love to be in the papers. Head right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. Ah! Shave out of there, come Right, right. I've had it with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't expect them to actually see me through that little window. Uh, <laughs> this is a great start, huh? I'm press. <laughs> and, like, I'm in the place for like 20 seconds and then they see me just choking out one of the bobbies. Screw it. Let's roll with it. Oh, I love it. And now we see the violence inherent in the system. Yeah, that one's fine. It's not like I have to be stealthy in here for everything to go, okay? Locked requires lockpick. Don't I have lockpicks? Surely I do. To all employees, we've had a wee accident. The constables are here to help us. Please cooperate by carrying your ID at all times, as they don't know who's who. Oh, well that's good for me. That didn't sound good. I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. Well, I don't think I want to kill the workers, so let's switch to a non-lethal weapon. Employees only. So that's going to go off as soon as I go through. Unless... I can find an employee keycard downstairs. The only place it could be is in that place that says it requires a lockpick, and I apparently can't open that, so... You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. What if I just don't? It doesn't seem to be really stopping me. Let me see. First aid kits, sandwiches. Why is a sandwich more than twice the price of a first aid kit? My god. Suggestion box. To all employees from Alice Little, supervisor. While we all enjoy a good laugh, pranks in the employee lounge have gotten out of hand. 
Today, Roger became quite alarmed that his tea time macaroon had made him shrink after several employees remarked that he seemed to be getting smaller. In fact, some person or persons unknown went to the trouble of replacing his uniform with an identical but larger one. <laughs> Valuable work time was wasted by this tomfoolery. In future, kindly confine your pranks to your off hours. Alice. Someone hasn't had their joy today. It's a hilarious prank. They made an entire bigger version of their outfit. Chocolate covered strawberry joy for Valentine's. Yeah, see, pick lock. I, I already had lock picks. Or could make them. I don't know why that door downstairs said, need a lock pick. Gonna be decontaminated. Hopefully it doesn't know that I'm not a worker and it's gonna decontaminate me with flames. Mind the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. <coughs> Just relax. Don't question Just it. Grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. Is this the stuff, the alternative means that they've been using to try to make more joy? Experimenting with live toads and dried poppies and stuff? Damn, look how shiny that is. Looks so cool in the, the light of the fire. You no longer need a workbench to craft basic items. Wait, you mean like... I never needed a workbench in the first place to craft basic items, so what do you mean? Do you mean, like, stuff like th Yeah, even stuff like this that says it needs a workbench, I can just do it. I don't know what it means by basic items, but... Damn, that's really good. Is there anything I want to make? Yeah, just in case you were wondering how many bobby pins I have, how many lockpicks I have left in me, I can make over 50 of them. I'm good. Good on that. 13 disposable safe crackers. Yeah, I'm good on everything. Everybody's running around trying to put out fires. Sometimes literally, sometimes not. Sturdy. I wonder if there's a way around it. Should I talk to them? Should clear up soon, I imagine. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. Are they? I don't think they're actually concerned about me being here at all, are they? I don't think I need to take them out. Oh, bigger banger. Oh, never mind. Well, maybe they're not concerned about me being here, but they are concerned about me stealing. Fair enough. Come and get me. You seem to have literally no way down. How did you even get up there? There's no ladder or anything. Skip. Oh, is that what this is called? A skip? I was like, what, why is this saying skip? Oh. 
I guess that was a puzzle to get past the steam, but it doesn't hurt you. It just pushes you in a really weird way. Oh heck, I got away. Please don't struggle. Secret. What the hell is that doing here? Your eyes only, top secret to General Bing from Dr. Verloc. I must protest your comment to the executive committee the other day the so called plague originated in the Joy Factory. We've acknowledged that waste materials have at times been dumped into the river, obviously by accident, and that the fog rising off the river has been slightly toxic. However, to claim that we created mutant mushrooms in some sort of unscientific attempt to generate new chemical stocks for joy, I can't help chuckling even as I write it down. Regardless, I am very close to having a permanent solution to all this mess. I am developing a new treatment that will render joy obsolete. Stay tuned. Just think they didn't create mutant mushrooms. Well, I guess they created mutant mushrooms. I wonder if that's what started the plague. I don't think I want to try and cross that steam. I hope I can turn it off somewhere. Damn, those jets of flame look so cool. This game's really pretty. Let's hope. Oh my god. Let's put on our rubber suit. There have better be neatly labeled samples of the fog the next time I come down there. Just get a one gallon beaker, stick it in the fog, stop on it. Stop it. Oh, look at the water, like, I don't know what that's called, caustics or something, being reflected onto the ceiling. What did that do? Maybe it opened that door? I assumed it would turn off the power. It's just a proper suit. Eh, yeah, boiler suit feels right. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. I could, but I could also just not care. Honestly, I feel so powerful, but I'm just kind of like, meh. And it's kind of fun just to create a bunch of chaos, you know? I'll try to be at least moderately stealthy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
When life for noise, pop a joy. Oh, oh, Rodney it's Pickles. You, it's me. Okay. Oh, broke their weapon. It's not personal. What have we come to? All right, how do I get in there? Wait, is this... Is this behind a thing, or is this where it just came from? This is where it just came from. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> Button for research, apparently. Test of A329. To Dr. Verloc from Ronald Norrish. We have had mixed results with our first test of A2, uh, A329. The subject, Vanessa Tinkerbell, <laughs> came to us presenting downer symptoms of melancholy and unpleasant memories. We are pleased to report that this is no longer the case. There have been side effects, however. Tinkerbell was formerly one of the village's foremost intellectuals. She now has difficulty with basic cognitive functions and exhibits obsessive behaviors. For example, she runs around her cell clapping her hands and seems to believe she can fly. Recommendation. Further research required. At a minimum, it should only be used on the most severe downer cases. I feel rather brilliant right now. Come and stop me. Yeah, you don't have any way to get to me, do you? Wait, where are they going? Oh, I opened this. Maybe they do have a way to get to me now. I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally. Then it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Hmm. I actually need to heal. Also, I have 10 skill points. That allows me to get anything here except for tireless, which I don't even care about. Distractions last longer. Um, maybe I'll just go for tank. Take less damage for most attacks. 15% less damage. That's, that's good. The winning argument. Another one of those. What is that apparatus? That giant machine looks so cool. <laughs> Strawberry Joy! Shaped like an ice cream. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire! Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. 
That's my favourite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right. All right. Are you like a super boss? I think they are. Wait. When did I get yet another winning argument? I just picked up an extra one, but I have three. When did I pick up the extra second one? When did I pick up an axe? Holy crap, I have way too many of these on me. I think I only needed one winning argument. And let's go with the axe. Ready with you? The Lord Man, that weapon looks cool. Me, and he is angry every day. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. Damn. Can't we work something out? No. For Lux's office keycard. The pipe down. Oh, hell yeah. Inflicts burning damage. Durable. How does that compare to the winning argument? It's... Um... Similar effort and damage. But significantly faster speed. And of course, it does fire damage. Also, it's cool AF. Look, I mean, look at... Jesus Christ, that is so fucking cool. That is unbelievably cool. I hope I get to fight Verloc. What do these... What do these all do, exactly? They're hooked up to just, like, the gas? I don't really have any particular reason to shut them down? But I guess I might, just kind of out of curiosity. out, but it kind of blocks my view, but it's so fucking cool. I asked for a full battery of tests done on the latest Isima. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Packer's bridge club. These are scientists. I don't want to kill them. Got a lucky strike. Look, I don't even want to be here. It's better this way. I don't think I need the loot that's on him, do I? Isn't it just truncheons, joy pills, toasted chicory is nice, but eh. I'm good on stuff. I don't need stuff. I'm just not a very material sort of person, you know? Power the door. Who the hell are you? Oh, you looked weird. I thought you had like weird blue paint on your thing, but it was just weird reflection. Come on, you want to break your weapon? Yeah. Do we really have to do this? Oh, look at how cool that looks. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Murderer, imbecile, lady novelist. 
pickpocket. Hmm. Ah! Is that an original? Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. I want to follow him down this thing. I wonder what it's like to travel through that thing. Oh, now I don't need a chemistry lab to formulate basic chemicals. Answers to Dr. Harry Haworth from General Bing. Dear sir, as you know, our citizens have become dispirited due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be of service in restoring morale. On examining the German camp, we discovered that German soldiers were given fatigue pills that contained amphetamines and opioids, which contributed greatly to their esprit de corps, or whatever that is, I think it's Latin. It turns out that's how their men were able to punch through our lines again and again. We were wondering how it was they never seemed to sleep. I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you might be the hero we need now. I'm aware that this will inconvenience your own research, but as that other great Napoleon fighter said, England expects that every man will do his duty. Written joy request from Penelope Snug. Oh, we read the other side of this, didn't we? Weak batch of joy. No longer remember to put on their gas masks. Yeah. Is this the secret lair button? It's not very well hidden. You might just, like, set down your drink and accidentally press it. It's on the table, the top of the table. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil had better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Chemistry questions. Dear Dr. Verloc, thank you so much for showing me your laboratory when I visited with Mr. Adams. 
As you can imagine, it was very exciting for a girl from a small chemist's shop. Oh, this is from Sally Boyle. I myself have been training to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wonder if I might come by your laboratory sometimes to ask you about more advanced chemistry questions. It would be such a privilege to learn from a really advanced scientist. So is this probably sent shortly before Sally started working with Verloc? Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Is that like a painting angel? Like, put a bunch of paint on your body, lay down, and rub your hands around or something? Whoa. Joy formula codenamed Coconut. Name of the subject, Harry Plantain... Plantagenet? And just a whole bunch of tests. Joy doses. Hours slept, general mood, appetite. Mm. Bites. Thinks he's the rightful king of England. Seven five two four four. Seven five two four four. Both the same formula. Gemma Olson. Hey, what's up? Uh, is that what you wanted? <laughs> um, maybe I shouldn't have pressed that. I don't know, they were knocking on the door and they wouldn't talk to me. Oh, there it is. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Dr. Haworth, from Anton Verloc to General Bing. This is back in 1957. I hope you will not think a mere research chemist is out of line in contacting you, but I'm frankly concerned about Dr. Haworth. Despite Joy's great success, he has begun allocating resources towards his study of phrenology, a laughably discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else. When he thinks, no one can hear him. I'm not suggesting he's actually sabotaging the factory. The recent shortages are the result of mix-ups that anyone could have made. But I know you share my concern about the importance of our work to Wellington Wells, and he won't listen to me or anybody else. What do you recommend we do? New Secretary Recommendations To the new secretary, I hope you have better success in this job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of a certain woman be expunged from the laboratory. If you ask me, she who must not be named was the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will ask you for information that is in her notes, but you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else you'll be sacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room and the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck, Betty. P.S. Dr. V also gets his knickers in a knot if you nip some of his good scotch. Just a word to the wise. This must be talking about Sally. Want to expunge them from the records? And they were the real brains behind the operations. I can like believe that. Pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. <laughs> okay, I want to find that cache of notes though, because that's optional, right? Is there anything I can do here? I'm sorry, I made that person throw up a lot. Man, I don't think is it. I don't think I'm going to find the notes out here. I think I've got to press further in.
This looks like it could have been Sally's place. Maybe not. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. River might be a way out if I don't mind poisoning the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Yeah, I think everything's so deeply poisoned at this point. To all employees from Alice Little, supervisor. Yet again, I've discovered employees flushing a bad batch of joy down the drain. It will make the fish happy is not an acceptable excuse. Often we can restore a batch of slightly defective joy by the addition of reagents. Waste not, want not. No swimming. seen so many hatches in my entire life. Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? I think this play place had a high employee turnover. Wait, so I am fully out of the place. Then what about finding Sally's notes? Hidden papers in the storage room and the computer room. Did I just never find those? <gasps> or is that just not something I can find? Uh, I don't think I can go back in though. letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? Do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. 
No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. Okay, that was quite a revelation about what happened when they were young with Sally and uh, Arthur's dad. I wasn't expecting that. Huh, well, okay, I understand a bit more why Arthur's so mad at Sally. Also, I want to mention something that I... I guess it's a minor spoiler, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I was reading a little bit about playing as the other characters in this game. One of them is Sally. And someone mentioned something about having to, like, take care of your child. So, I think think that's why Sally was like, it's not that simple, we need to wait until dawn, because I think they have a baby in the other room that they need to take care of. The Parade District. To the Executive Committee. Silly me, I forgot my letter of transit when I went to the village. I didn't expect any difficulty, as everyone in Wellington Wells knows me. But when I tried to return home to the parade, the Bobby, whose father was in my employ for decades, told me I could not return home without my letter of transit, which is, of course, at home. It took quite some doing to make him understand the illogic of his position. Finally, his supervisor decided that I must get a new letter of transit, which I would be delighted to do, except the letter of transit office is, as you know, in the parade. Please do sort this out soon. I have my bridge group on Tuesday and am most eager to get home. Oh, and the letter of transit itself just says you are allowed to cross to the parade district. I assume there's also a nice stamp and it's on official letterhead or something. And this from Arthur. What should I have done? Should I have turned around and said yes? I will, yes, come with me, we'll go at dawn, whatever you say. I always used to wonder if I'd run out the door after her that day. What would have happened to us? Would we still be friends? Or was the magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? Sixteen-year-old me would never have had the courage to leave home. Ooh, I just have thought. Uh, hmm. I'll come back to that in a minute. And here I am, running out the door when she wants to come with. Not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Is that just another convenient lie? Because I needed a reason to go off Joy, and he was the only one I could come up with. What if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me, and love me, and need me? Do I have utterly no faith left in anyone? And she'd survive, and I'd get killed... A girl like her shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas in her palm trees. Yours truly is shark bait. I can't. I just can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just had a thought that just didn't really occur to me at all before. How old is Sally, or more importantly, how old was Sally? When they slept with Arthur's father? If I'd run out the door after her that day, and during that day, Arthur was 16. How old is Sally? Um... That majorly changes things. I, I suspect she was about the same age. In which case... You know, I'm sure their dad was probably like 40 or more. So, that wouldn't be so much like Sally betrayed Arthur or their family. It would be more like their dad was a rapist. Right. Well. Anyway, let's just not think about that for now, I guess. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient. 
is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. We like to work, are we? trains Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me? When you're gone. Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Ah, the parade. Just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. This place looks so different from all the other places. Much bigger roads, doesn't have the rainbow roads, bigger buildings, just kind of bigger everything. Looks like a rich neighborhood. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to start to explore the Parade District.